CEOs from major hotel operators in discussion right now with President Trump at the White House uh, discussing the negative impact of the coronavirus epidemic on their bottom lines and occupancy levels. Some comments here from Chris Nesetta, the CEO of Hilton, saying, I've been in this business for 35 years. I have never seen anything like it. It is strikingly similar everywhere around the world. He says they are experiencing 15% occupancy. Then we focus on Marriott. CEO Arnie Sorensen also in the meeting saying business in China fell by about 90%. And he says worldwide they are losing business every day. This comes after Marriott uh, says it expects tens of thousands of employees to be furloughed. Uh, that, of course, due to the drop in occupancy that not only Marriott is experiencing, but a number of other hotel operators. David Kong of Best Western also in the meeting saying uh, he's asking for financial help with swap loans. So it's clear, Kelly and Tyler, that the hotel operators are taking their concerns to the White House, really trying to figure out what type of financial help they can get from the government, especially for those 8.3 million hotel workers across the U.S.